reka twinjire mu mwanya wacu let us begin our entering a moment turasoma mu gitabo cha luka we're going to read the uh, in luke ibice mirongo 22 Luke 22 Luke 22 39 Luke 22 tw uh, 39 mm. Coming out he went to the mountain of olives as he was accustomed and his disciples also followed him. When he came to the place, he said to them, pray that you may not enter into temptation. Mm -hmm. And he, s he was withdrawn from them about a stone throw mm -hmm. and he knelt down and prayed saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Mm -hmm. 43. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Mm -hmm. When he arose up from prayer and he had come to his disciples, he found them sleeping from sorrow. Then he said to them, why do you sleep? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Amen. 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 John 18, verse 1. John 18, verse 1. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples over the brook Kidron, where, the, where there was a garden which he and the disciples entered. And Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place. Mm. For, Je for Jesus of often met there with his disciples. Then Judas, having received a detachment of troops and officers from the chief priests and the fer Pharisees, came there with a lantern, lantern torches and weapons. Thank you, thank you. Amen. Uh, Brethren, It has been 2,000 years. Time, hours like this. Seasons like these. Like this hour. Second watch. Yes, Jesus was in Gethsemane. First watch. 12 to, to 10. Jesus was ashamed with disciples the, the Passover. He told them, go prepare what we're going to share with supper on Passover. In Luke, in Luke, twenty-two, verse In verse 34, mm -hmm. then he said, I tell you, Peter, the roaster shall not crow this day before you no, will. No. Sorry, 21, 30, sorry, 21, 34, 21, 34, yes. 21, yes, Luke 21, 34. 21, 34, it says, but take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down. With caressing, 
drunkenness, mm -hmm. and the cares of this life. Mutijira mu maganya menshi cyane ngo murebe ibyo ubugingo bw'iki gihe. And that day come on you un unexpectedly. Hanyuma mukaza guhura ngo cyagiye kitazabasanga muremerere. For it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on this face of the whole earth. Kuko bizatungura abantu. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy mm -hmm. to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Mm. Be awake and pray. He was sharing this to his disciples. Be aware from the drunkenness. The life of this earth. The stress of this earth. The problems of this earth. The prayer is what will take over. This is in chapter 21. Watch and pray so you may not fall into temptation. Or tw uh, verse 22, or chapter 22. Do you hear me? On verse 7, then came the day of unleavened un 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 bread when the Passover must be killed. And he sent Peter and John saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us that we might eat. So they say to him, Where do you want us to prepare? And he said to them, Behold, Dore. when you have entered the city, a man will meet you carrying, with carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house which he entered. Then, remember Jesus was a place and tonight he tells his disciples it was around evening so to this evening we must eat Passover they asked where should we eat from and Jesus said and say go into the city Go downtown, like Dallas downtown. You will see a man carrying a pitch, a pitcher, full with water. Follow, just follow him. When he enters, enter with him. And then, tell him. You, you hear that scenario? Let's start again on, no, no, no. on 11. Then you shall say to the, to the master of the house, the teacher says to you, where is the guest room? These people have no plan, they have no program, they have no, no whatsoever. But, but the Jews in Israel, they are in Passover as we speak. They have prepared for visitors to come and share Passover. So Jesus sent them. Go to the master of the house. Where, where, uh, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. Mm -hmm. Then he will show you a large fur furnished, uh, furnished upper room. There make ready. Ah. Yeah. He will show you an upper room that is prepared. 
How many of you have been to Israel? We have three. We have people, two people who went to the upper room. Come with me, I will show you. In Israel, the upper room still exists to today. Another amazing thing, in that upper room, when Jesus dis uh, as uh, descended, ascended, that's the same room that Jesus told the disciple, go and wait for 10 days, the Holy Spirit shall come upon you. Do you remember? They were room. in upper room. This is the same room. So as I'm as I'm teaching you, I can, I can see this room, the authentic room, but I know you are imagining different types of rooms. <laughs> Because because in your mind, everyone has a type of different type of room, but I, I can see the real, real room. Thirteen. So they went and found it just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. Passover. Yes. When the hour had come, oh my he sat down. I will try to make it easy for you to understand. When the hour had come, when the hour Ugo Isaha has come, Yashite. So this has been uh, said, uh, spoken about back in Eden. Umus. A day that God slain a, a, a lamb. The skin of, a, of the lamb. And he, he closed it, Adam and Eve. These, they were waiting. They were waiting for this hour in eternity. When the hour has come, when this special hour had come, the same hour that God uh, put it on at the time of Adam and Eve. This was the evening hour when the first watch began. Caesar. 6 p.m. So, so it's supper. So this was a time of for supper at 6 p.m. Are we together? When, when the hour had come, yes. he sat down and the 12 apostles with him. He sat down with the original version. Can you read here? He, re he reclined at the table. Reclined and looking at the table. He reclined. He sat and the position that Jesus had, he reclined. For the, the time he, come, he could not escape that time. Although it was sad, it was sorrow time, but he could not escape because the time had come. It had been 4,000 years. And he was spoken. 2000 years ago it happened in Egypt. When, when the a lamb so they can, uh, can be uh, they can be saved from e from Egypt. So the, the lamb was just the symbol of Jesus who will be crucified. 
Sunday, I will Christo share with Pascal you about Kayachu. the Passover, our Christ, our Christ or Passover. Christo our uh, Christ is our uh, Passover. Do you hear Kicho me? Gihe? At that time, it has been 2,000 years when Israel had come from Egypt and it's been 3,000 years Abraham when Abraham was about to kill uh, Isaac and the lamb was, was revealed so it's been about 4,000 years when Adam and Eve were clothed in, 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 in uh, uh, leaves and a God, God, God slain the lamb so he could cover them. Now, when them. the hour has come, Isa he gets them. Yiri biri abzose, biri abzose, abzafuzwe. No, no, we muzuri deko. So Isa yari gets. Now the time had come when everything was spoken has come to an end. Shumina gatano ni ona shakaga. Then he said to them. Then he said to them, Umve, Kumbura watch me nagatano, threat na ukunda chane. Ariko na ugumba kukunda kuko urakome. Yes, he reclined you na makumes. Anima ge seconds. He said he he said to them with with a fervent desire, I have I have desired to eat this Passover with you. I have desired desired with to eat. A fervent desire. Mm -hmm. I have desired uh, desire desire to do what? To eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Voila. This was uh, the last Passover with Jesus. This particular Passover I had desired it. Hallelujah. Amen. I pasaka. This Passover. Ngo no kifuza kuinchi chani. And that so much fervent desire. Ngo nari nari itegeri. I had waited and waited and desired for it. Why? Kumeriki. He was himself that lamb of Eden, the same lamb of Abraham, the same lamb. Yeah, oh. yeah, In Abraham Egypt. Now. Eden. The bread that is about to share. It's a prophetic act of his body. He is the lamb now. And he's going to divide. Before he was crucified, himself performed an act to be sacrificed. Before I suffer, mm -hmm. I have desired to eat this Passover. To eat with you this Passover mm -hmm. before I suffer. I suffer. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Uh -huh. I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover. We have, show, so we have shared so many Passover with you. But this one, this Passover. Brother. Yes, amen. We have, we have participated in so many overnight with you. But tonight... This overnight of Passover tonight there are things that God is about to do in your life. There are history that is about to change and new things have been written in your life. I have desired oh, to eat this Passover before I suffer. It was at, at 6 p.m. They share, he shared with his disciples. Do you hear me? They share, he shared with his, his disciples. Verse 16. For I said to you, 
I will no longer eat it. I will no longer eat of it until this is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. He was saying goodbye to them. This is the last supper. He tells them, my disciple, I have worked with you so many years. It's been three years working with you. I've shared with you how many Passover? Two. And this is the third. So now, I will no longer Unless in the kingdom of heaven. But here, it's the last Passover. This is the last Passover. Why? I'm about to die. I am the bread that you eat. Now you are finishing it. I will share with you again in a, resurrect, in a life after resurrection. Because I'm dying, we will share across the river in the kingdom of heaven. As he was saying this, 19. and he took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and he gave it to them saying, this is my body, my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Voilà. He took the bread, blessed it, and then he broke it. It was a, a great act. They did not understand this, but as he was breaking it, that's how spiritually his body was being hurt, was suffering. He was beaten with the thorns. When they beat him, when they pull, the nails will pull off the, the skin. When the skin comes off, it will, it will correspond with how he was breaking the braid apart. So that suffering, Jesus spoke about it, that I desired long ago to share this Passover. Why? Because that's the main purpose he came from heaven for. That was his final destination. It's as if you take a, a long journey and you go from here at the heading North Dakota. And, and now you, you've, you, you drove so many hours from Dallas to, to North Dakota and you reached your final destination in Dickinson. Once I drove a car Florida. from Florida Hasi. at the very uh, beginning of Florida, West Palm Beach, West Palm Beach. and I drove went to visit my son Elise in Virginia Lynchburg. I went from Florida from, I went to Georgia, Carolina, North, uh, South Carolina, Carolina North Carolina, Virginia. to Virginia. And that's for four hours and hours I drove the whole night but in the morning I could not even feel my leg was numb after uh, uh, 
about to reach five miles remained to, to get to the final destination. I could not feel I got tired. I felt I, I wanted to park <laughs> and, and to my to turn. Only five miles <laughs> away. And I've driven so many miles. But when you're about to reach your final destination, that's when you feel giving up. Every time in your life when you feel a thought telling you to give up, know this, that you're about to reach your final destination. That's how it is. A thought tells you, can you just give up? Another thought tells you, just keep going. Sometimes you wait for a person. And when you say, I'm giving up, and the person arrives. You've waited for five hours. Only three minutes that you've left. The person arrives. And you, cannot, you, don't, you, won't, you are not able to come back. That's how it is. That's how it is. People of God, God, Jesus waited for this hour. Like me, uh, me too, I'm waiting for this hour. So you can surrender all to Jesus. And the miracle can happen. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which he shed for you. Yeah. Yeah. The cup. He took the cup. With a red, red wine. And he said, listen, the bread is my body, is my flesh. But now, now it's going to the veins. My blood will be shed. As he was pouring, he will done an act showing them how his blood will be shed. Yes. Jesus Every blood of his was taken out. Every drop of his blood. That started in Gethsemane. Sweating blood. He was beaten. Till he, be he became a rotten. He became dehydrated. Blood was shed the entire day. And they say, this is not enough. Let us poke him in his ribs so the last blood will be shed. This that Jesus was doing, this was an act or symbol that to what will happen tomorrow. There are people some feeling you have, sometimes you have feeling in your hand, then you receive money, your eyes, then you, you cry. How do you call it in English? Tingling, tingling, so go kill it. 
Eh? Irritation. No, irritation any it's uh, eh? irritation is irritation is so kuba bara imbere pain na imbere ukuntu three eh trivalin three trinkalin man trinkalin they have a trinkalin eh trinkalin gini kinya Tingling. Tingling. This is so, so much like it. What? If they think like someone, no, come on, like it. Signs. Are you coming? If you don't forget, you're absent. We are trying to find the word in English when you have a feeling in your in your palm or. Under your eye, what is it called in English? And you have like a, some superstitious thinking that you will receive money. Eh? Shadow? Shadowing. Maybe. Foreshadowing. That predicts something. L let us have that. Preaching. Eh? For, for, for what? Foreshadowing, maybe that's what foreshadowing. It's so if the, the, the foreshadowing, does the bazungu have that? Bazungu, or, or, or it's for us only black people. Bazungus have those. Now what have you done? Don't you? You must go now. Now we are going to have something. Now, 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 now. Okay, take care. Yeah. Even your palm. So your palm doesn't twitch. It's twitching. You call it twitching. Muscle twitch. Eh, ni foreshadow. Foreshadow. Let's go with foreshadow. When Jesus was breaking the bread and the, 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 the Cup, he had this foreshadow inside him. You have to be true on him. You understand? He said, Kuko ni webs avogaga. Iyi pasa kandi, nari nari tegereje kuba kera. Yakora gibindi, ejo bizamuba. Yari projection yibizamuba. Kuma nyaguru mutsi, no gusuka vino, na mara soya zameneka. Kuma nyaguru mutsi, no mobiliwe uzama nyaguruka. Dok ibi ni abu zari bino juste entertainment zari no mobera muriwe imbere. Yarafta gahinda kenshi intuma zida shabara kumba. Ari korobo yangu muhumu re try sangiri ni sizongi la kujia tuzongi la mukami kumba. So this when Jesus was breaking the bread Jesus. and pouring the blood of, the, of uh, pouring the cup with the uh, wine in it, he was symbolizing an act of what will be done to him. Jesus wasn't just doing an act of entertaining. He knew this will, hap will come to pass. And he told his disciples, no, when I'm doing this, we will, this will be the last supper with you. And he was suffering internally, but he could not show that supper with his disciples. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 39. 22. Yeah, 22, 39. 22, 30. Look, look, 22, 39. Coming out, he went to the mountain of Olives. Coming where? Out. Out. Out in here. Baso hotse murions. When they come. Barangije sapa. As he was acute, uh, Accustomed, and his disciples also followed him. Aha! When he came, no, no, no. Iyangani mukoga wa. Eh, barangije supper. After they eaten supper, let me. The the murebe para paralele ya muri Matthew twenty six thirty. Mwvu ukopza gens gatoi. Yes. Let's 
let's read. Mm -hmm. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the mountain of olives. Oh, oh okay. Ahoni ona shakaga, na shakaga. Um, when they did what? They had sung a hymn. They had sung. Bama zekuria hanyuma wagira gute. Bama zekuria no kungwa niki kogwa bakoze. They'd sung. Ah. Ah. Barairi mindirimbo. Barairi mindirimbo. They sang a hymn. Ah. Uzindirimbo baririmbo. Do you know the song they sang? Muri Passover. In the Passover. When the Jews finished the Passover, Psalm 114, remembering of how they came from Egypt. It's the same Passover, the song, the sing, the song that Jesus sang with his Psalm disciples. Psalm 114. Why are you going to Psalm 114. Number one, if you have Israel, you have to go to Mugi Puta, Zaburi, Yija, Nachumina, Kan. Psalm 114. Mm hmm. When Israel went out of Egypt, when Israel went out from Egypt, the house of Jacob from the people of the strange language, verse 3, the sea saw it and fled. They saw the sea saw fling it. them. Actually, verse 1 is Exodus from Egypt. Verse 3, the miracle. Miraculous division of the Red Sea. Now Red Sea. Now Jesus, Jesus comes and he says, the sea it It's a baptism with the Red Sea. That's tomorrow his blood will become a Red Sea so people will cross over. Number, number four. The mountain skipped like rams. Ah, the promulgation of the law. The mountain skipped like, like a lamb. Now they're speaking of the laws to come. Verse 9. Verse 9? Yes. Oh, sorry. 116. <laughs> Psalm, Psalm 116, verse 9. You know, I will walk before the Lord in the land in the land of the living. Oh, he's, he's speaking the resurrection of the dead. Mm -hmm. They sang. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Now, after they had eaten and they sang the song where God, when Jesus was waiting, after everything was over, they sang the Psalm 114 and 116. What does this say? 116 in 9, the resurrection of the dead. This is meaning that he will be resurrected. Then all people who then they sang Psalms 115. Is Zazaburi Mbabwira Ubukuri Muri Pasaka Aba Yuda Bubaracha Aziri Mbaba Tegereje Masiya Ngwa Zaz. So as we speak these this Psalms 14, 15, 16 Jews are still, are still singing it waiting for the Messiah to come back. But for us we know that he came. Jesus was singing this song so he can fulfill the prophetic words of what he's spoken about him. Can you read Psalm 115 verse 1? 
not unto us, O oh Lord, and not unto us. The but passion of the Messiah. But to your name give glory. The passion of the Messiah. Not, not to us. For the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. This Psalms 115 the passion of the Messiah. Speaks about the death, the passion of, of, of Messiah. One sixteen speaks about his resurrection. And one fourteen speaks about deliverance of Israel from Egypt crossing the sea and the laws that will come. After they had sung, after they had sung this song. They left. What time was it? This time. It was this hour. He went to pray. Because of things that were ahead of him. The plan of God that he needed to fulfill. He, couldn't, he didn't, he could not sleep. He went and prayed. Listen. Because of the great plan that God is about to take you to, this hour is a special hour in your life. Because of what God is about to take you to, because of things that are about to happen to you so you can enter into this plan, you should not sleep. You should not sleep. You should not sleep. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were in Luke 22. Jesus went with the, his disciples. They went. He went with his, his disciples. They went on the mountain. And John had told us they crossed the sea of Kidron, the valley of Kidron. That's the, uh, the mountain olive. They went garden. in the garden of Getaman. Getaman. What does Getaman mean? Getaman. Getaman. If you press one, a hanu bengera, ba mena gura imbuto zikava munabyo. It's a place where the ground, the uh, seeds and come, uh, uh, oil comes out of the seed. Ba press one, aro muvuri, bengera mu, bengera mu, imbuto ba kazi mena gura kugeza zidi vuye mama vuta. It's where the ground seeds and oil comes out. Kuberiki. Why? Urusengeru hejuru. The church was up there. The temple. Where priests were there. And the lamps should be in installed. Now the, oli the olive oil. Was doing uh, was four things. Number one. Number one. They were put into the lamps of the temple. Into the temple. They didn't have the same electricity as we do. So they're supposed to be uh, where they crash, where they ground the sea. So they descend the mountain into the valley of Kidron. And they'll leave Getsemane when there's so many trees of olives. And now they will crush the seeds. And they would take the oil for the temple's lamps. And the second 
They will anoint the priest with that same oil. Those who are about to enter the priesthood because most of them will be uh, anointed for priest, for pri to be priests. And then they anoint the priest and the priest. And the third thing is it heals the diseases. They apply to the wounds. Remember the Samar Samaritan. They apply the oil to the person who was beaten on the wounds and the wound to be healed. And the fourth thing they will use the oil for, people will eat it because it does not have high cholesterol. It's a good oil. That's what the priest will use to eat. So these four things, it was right there in Getseman. Getseman so Getseman, it means a place to crush. So this is the same place Jesus went to pray. So in Luke, Luke was the physician. He said this. So the sweat of Jesus, while he was praying, it was around this hour he was praying. It turned into blood. In a medical, it's hard. For sweat to turn to blood, you cannot understand this medical. But when Jesus was praying, he had a pressure in, in him. At the same as the crusher, the crusher, there was a pressure crushing inside. In him, this man was a crushing inside. The vein was crushing. And the blood started to shed. Because of the pressure in him, a blood has attacked him. The hell has attacked. And now he has told his disciples, help me to pray. There's no single day that Jesus ever asked anybody to help him pray. But tonight, that's when he asked his disciple, pray with me. Pray with me. He had prayed for Peter. I will pray. But Satan is about to, to uh, take you out, to amplify you, to swift you. He's about to swift you. But I had to pray for you, Peter. Be but in the morning, Mumugoro, in the evening, watch, at the second watch, help me to pray. And help me to pray. Because things that I'm going through right now, no one can overcome it unless you pray. So the life you are going through, you cannot overcome it unless you pray. The life you are living in, you cannot overcome it unless you pray. The plan that you have, you cannot reach them unless you pray. Your marriage, you cannot achieve it unless you pray. Your children, you cannot lead them without you pray. Your children, your descendants, you cannot receive them without praying. Your job, you cannot do it well without praying. We are together tonight. And everybody tonight. Tonight, I have brought you together. We will pray until the end will come. We will pray even when they don't understand. Even if they are sleeping, the heaven will come. Angels will come. Angels are Angels will come to be with us, to pray with us, to help us in our prayer. Tonight, tonight, we're going to pray until the angels come to battle with us in our prayer. We shall pray until the heavens are open. We will pray until answers come. We will pray until something happens in my life.
life, in my house, in my job, in my career, in my life. We're going to pray until the Holy Ghost touch our heart, transform our needs. Oh, hallelujah. We are to get a man. Could you watch a second watch? Could you watch a second watch? Yes, I'm going to be just one. And now Jesus tells his disciple, This moment, help me to pray. But I'll pray my own. Now Jesus goes. And he left them somewhere. And he said, Remain there. A place that you can throw a stone. And how he goes alone. He was under a tree of olive. He was kneeling on a, on a rock. He left them in the trees of olive. Help me to pray. At uh, this watch, do not look at people. Do not look at your neighbor. Call upon your God. Call upon your God. Because, because the pressure you have of the country. Because the pressure you have of your documents. The pressure, the, the, the pressure you have of your disease. Tonight, we will call upon God. Because of the pressure you have of whatever you're desiring to reach to. Tonight, tonight, this overnight, this watch the angel will come and dwell with you. And now Jesus comes. He prayed. He prayed. And now it was getting hard. He came to look at Peter with his friends so he could tell them keep praying. It is getting hard. Now the supper we just had it's touching my life. Now I have seen the table of everything. A person in the flesh have a, has a fear. Pray with me. And now everybody was asleep. Said, so please forgive me. Be awake. And this, oh, yeah. Yes, we are awake. And Jesus goes back. And when he reached the place, he pray and pray again. And it wasn't working. And he comes again. And they were sleeping. Said, so please be awake. So, oh, yeah, we are. This time we're going to help you. And Jesus goes again. He goes again. He pray and pray. And it wasn't working. He needs help. He needs partners. He needs somebody who, need, who can hear him. I need somebody to hear me. The journey is heavy. And now he goes again. And now, just one hour, you can't. Among, uh, uh, for four hours of watch, can't you bear with me just one hour? And now he gave up on them. He said, I know inside you're desiring, but your body is tired. Now I will not bother you again. And now he goes and prays. When he, get, he gets there, he mourns. And the sweat fell. Drops of blood. At that moment, the heaven rescued. The heaven rescued. The angel come, came, touch him, and strengthen him again. The angel of the Lord, he is going to touch you. He will strengthen you again. The problem that you're about to face, 
You cannot overcome it. Unless with the end of the Lord. Another thing. That answer. That you about to enter. The, the answer you about to enter to. It cannot come to you with unless you pray. Are you desiring to go further. But it depends on the time that you knew praying. It depends on the time you spent praying. Now I'm going to pray with you. I ask you. Do not take this moment for granted. I will give you just one hour. Tell God your problems. Call upon God. Do not fall asleep. Because there are two spirits this place. There is a spirit that is in Peter and his friends. There's a spirit that is in Jesus. The spirit in Peter and his friends. It's for sleeping. Now the spirit in Jesus. It's to pray. And so this moment. I ask, I pray for you to pray. You yourself know what you need to pray for. You know what you need to tell God. Your problems. Don't leave this place without you getting a solution. You, if, even if you need a repeat a thousand times, but to cross that, that darkness cross it over, that confusion, that con uh, confusion 